Welcome to my Spring Art Exhibition 2011. I'm just going to take you through my art studio and show you the paintings that I have on display for my art exhibition. Beginning with this one. This one is called Love, Joy, Peace. And it has the words joy, peace and love intermingled in the artwork. And that was just a bit of fun with texture and colours that I particularly love. So we'll go on through and we'll look at the other paintings. Here we have one of my very latest works that's based around the Christchurch Cathedral. There was a major earthquake in Christchurch in February this year and the Christchurch Cathedral lost its steeple. And so I had a desire to do a painting of the broken down cathedral with a cathedral that has, represents being rebuilt with the whole message of hope for the people of Christchurch who are still really struggling with the uh, aftermath of the earthquake. So it's a bit of a different work that one for me, I haven't really done work like that before but I really enjoyed doing it because it had a really clear message of hope and encouragement. Another couple of paintings I love painting the female face particularly and doing different interpretations of the female face. The one on the left is called Mysterious Woman. It's kind of impressionistic and there is a little bit of mystery about her. And the other one is called Lookalikes. It has a bit of texture in the background. Uh, again, a bit of a different, different interpretation of the female face. Here is just my table with her, which has greeting cards of the painting that you've just seen with a message of hope on the back. And this just tells you a little bit about some of my awards that I've had over the years. This work here is called A Brighter Tomorrow. A lot of people have, have, have uh, with the world being so unstable, are living in a bit of fear and anxiety about the future. And it was just my way of saying, hey, there's a brighter tomorrow. Things can always be better and to have a good attitude towards the future. So it's just a little bit of a representation of encouragement again, saying there is going to be a brighter tomorrow. And this is a text, very textured in the middle here. Again, a mixed media work. And this is part of beautiful New Zealand, an area called Ha Hei. We have uh, beautiful beaches in New Zealand for you people who are overseas who are viewing this. And uh, beautiful beaches, beautiful scenery, and that is my interpretation in expressionism, which means painting it in colours I feel like, rather than what they actually are. And I, you've probably picked up already that I love my blues and oranges, and this is just a, a little uh, pair there of the blue and orange being complementary colours. It makes it stand out so a bit different again. You probably see that I do like different styles. And here we have a pair of paintings which is a scenery in the area where I live called Waikato and it's just a, an, an interpretation of the scenery in New Zealand. Contours of the hills and the different shapes of trees. And again we have the the female face, this one is called Memories. In the background there are writings about my memories as a child, which makes it a bit of a personal artwork. Again, a different interpretation of the female form. And here we have something different again. This one is a mixed media work. It's called Freedom in the Cross, based on my Christian beliefs. And it's got parts of the, the Bible actually placed into the artwork and a lot of uh, mixed media and different bits of gold, paper, different shapes and textures. Last year our family went to the Grand Canyon and this is just a modern interpretation of the Grand Canyon with lots of texture and again the blue and the orange which I seem to gravitate to. And the next work is irises with blue and orange yet again and the blue background makes the orange of the irises really stand out. That's a chalk pastel work, a very free flowing work that I really enjoyed doing. And this one here is totally different again. I woke up one morning about 5.30 in the morning and that was before my eyes and I knew I had to paint it. There's a bit of a story behind it but I won't go into that at the moment but it's just an interplay of various colours and quite a different work. 
Again, the female form. Just a bit of fun. Ladies having a, a dance, having a party. And uh, yeah, just a bit of freedom in that one. Now we come down into my actual art studio where I normally paint. Here is another one of the female form. A lady dancing. And I've just enjoyed the different interpretation and the fun with colour and shapes just to present a different work to what I've done before. And then we go on to my hometown. There's a beautiful river called the Waikato River and this is a representation of the Waikato River in autumn. It's called Autumn Ripples. And then we go on again to another female face, a painting called Monique. This one is done in chalk pastels. I've always been fascinated with the, the eyes I really enjoy painting eyes and getting that realistic look. Someone said to me at my opening of my exhibition, I wonder what she's thinking about. I never actually thought about that when I was painting it. I'll have to think of something for there. And then we have a painting of Rodin's The Kiss, a well-known sculpture which is in Europe. It may even be in the Louvre, I'm not too sure. It gets moved around a little bit, I think. Uh, just an acrylic painting. Made a little bit different with the red background, which makes it stand out. And down below here is a painting, a still life. I've done many still lifes. I'm naturally a realist, so I find it quite easy to copy. So I set up various things on a table and, and copy it. And there's a real sense of achievement getting that realism there. So a cyclamen plant is quite common in New Zealand for a pot plant in the home. This one here again is a female form, it's called The King's Daughters and it's done in mixed media. I don't know if you can see on the camera but there's lots of reflection here uh, with um, glitter which gives that gold rich look to the painting. And instead of having a frame around a stretch canvas I've just placed this panel down both sides which represents a frame. We're on to uh, New Zealand scenery again. This one here is a place called Raglan, which is about three quarters of an hour from my hometown. A beautiful little beach town with lots of character. And again, it's an expressionist work painted in colours that I feel like painting rather than actually as I see it in reality. The one below is another beautiful beach area north of Auckland called Omaha and a very popular holiday resort. And the area where I live we have is a dairy country and we have lots of cows so I had to represent cows in my exhibition. So that's just a little bit of fun with the cows. And here down below I was just playing around with shapes one day and I ended up thinking that shape looks a little bit like an angel. So I, I placed the heart in the space there and called it angel on assignment. Just something fun. There might be a bit of reflection here. This is another beautiful New Zealand scene, a place called Tea Point. And chalk pastels. I really enjoyed painting this one. This painting is called Prussian Princesses. And I've always really enjoyed getting a 3D look in my artwork. This is a painting that's taken me the longest time. I spent uh, many, many hours on this artwork and I'm very pleased with it. It's got a very regal look, so it's got pride of place in my studio for the exhibition. Here's a lot of fun strokes and fun colours. I've called this one, Which Road, Which Door? The writing on it says, so many doors, which door do I open? How do I know? Which road? Where will it lead? Who will follow me? Lots of questions, just challenging people about where they're going in life and where they'd like to go in life. One down below, again, is the female face, female form, just a party time. And I've called it, Where's My Dream Man? Girls out at a party looking for someone to fall in love with, just a bit of fun. And colours, that, again, that I really enjoy, the orangey colours with the blues. A bit more subtle in that one. And here we have a realism painting and short pastels. It's called Mare and Foal, a very realistic painting 
of horses and I really had a real great sense of achievement with that one, it's come out really realistic. An impressionist work down here, this is a, an area near where I live, it's a beautiful place, a place where a lot of couples get married, it's got a beautiful, beautiful old home and beautiful grounds and lovely place to walk, looks a little bit like Monet's place in, in France and done in Impressionism and oil paint. And here again we have the female face done a little bit differently again. I had a desire to have positive statements in the artwork to build people's self-esteem. So here we have I am beautiful and here we have I am free to be me. And as I mentioned before I really enjoy doing the eyes, and I, th I think they come up very realistic, even though they're in different colours. This one here is called Ducks, and if you look carefully you'll see there are ducks in a water scene, very impressionistic. Many people have said it reminds them of a Monet painting. So I thought, why don't I add about three or four more zeros to the price? <laughs> which of course I haven't done, but I really enjoy painting that. I love Impressionism. And that's done in chalk pastels. Here again is the female form. This is a bit different again with lots of texture in the dress. I love um, fashion design, I love clothing, and I've tried to represent that in my artwork. And this is a little bit like the 1930s and the decoration around it, so again it's something different to what I've actually done before. And this one here is a local scene of a mountain called Mount Perongia. I just felt like painting this in colours that I felt like and so I did it very, very quickly, threw a lot of paint around and just had a lot of fun with that one. And you can see in the sky the pinks, the blues, the turquoises, the light blue, the white, orange, it was a lot of fun, because my actual slogan for my art is adding colour to your life. So you will have noticed as we've gone around, a few of them are very colourful. This one here was the first painting to sell in my exhibition, and it just so happened to be my latest work. And it's called Universe in His Hands. And from my Christian perspective, there's the cross, and it's saying that God has everything under control. He has created the whole universe and he has everything under control. So I love the colours, I love colour, and I had a lot of fun with that. I have a real desire to do a great big one in a very similar style to that one. And that's just about the end of my exhibition, I think. I think you've seen just about the, the whole lot. I hope you've enjoyed the little tour around. I really enjoyed taking you around. And I wonder which one is your favourite. I'm not quite sure which one is my favourite. I have my special ones on certain weeks and I like other ones on other weeks. But I hope you've found something that you've really enjoyed and you've enjoyed my Spring 2011 Art Exhibition. We'll catch you later.